I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my Diary of a Pregnant Artist series. I just finished up my 27th week of pregnancy. This has been the last week in my second trimester, and now moving into that third trimester, I'm more excited, but also more nervous about everything because I'm excited to meet my baby in about three months, but also pretty nervous at the same time because it's just such a big change and I've never taken care of a baby before, but I'm sure it's, it's all going to go all right. And I just, I think I just need to stay like really flexible with everything. So I think I mentioned this before in a past video, but I've been feeling a lot hotter than normal with being pregnant. And I know that's definitely a, a symptom of pregnancy and it's feeling like getting a lot warmer and hotter. And this week we ended up having a big heat wave here and we've had a couple of them uh before but this week has been pretty bad and one day it got so hot that um, i got a little bit of heat exhaustion which is not good and it makes me worry a bit because i don't want to hurt my baby or anything so we decided to get a portable air conditioner, which I'm really excited for that to arrive so we can install that in one of our small rooms. Because normally what I would do, since we don't have an air conditioner in our house, is I'd go to the local library to work to sit in the free air conditioning there while I worked or something like that. But since with the pandemic in our area, still everything is closed. So no library access or like a cafe or anything that I can go into. But I think anyways, getting a portable air conditioner, even though they are pretty expensive, I think that's a good investment now. So I'm comfortable during during the pregnancy, but also afterwards too, because I keep, I'm such a planner and like worrier of things. So I like to have things planned out. So I'm not constantly worried about things. But so, uh, so then when I do have my baby, and if we go through more heat waves and the pandemic's over and everything, so we could leave the house and go into more air conditioned places. I feel like, I mean, it sounds like it's gonna be challenging taking a baby out. So unless my baby ends up being like very chill and calm, <laughs> but it seems like just a good idea for me to how I've been thinking about how uh, after I have the baby, how I wanna keep working as much as I want to while also taking care of him. I think then that having a room that's cool in our house that he can be comfortable in and then I can work as well. I think that sounds like a really good idea and a good investment. Another thing that I talked about, I think in my last video is again, how I've been thinking about since I'm getting to, to the third trimester, how I just really want to prepare everything that I can that's manageable work-wise for how I can continue to work easily while taking care of a baby after my maternity leave. And so one of the things that I mentioned was, uh, well, right now I pretty much work mostly from life, but I want to be working now from photo references so I can have a really flexible painting practice so I can paint whenever I get a moment to. Last week what I was doing was I was learning how to use my camera properly to take photo references and what makes a good photo reference for a painting and also learning Lightroom for editing the photographs. And so this week I did a photo shoot and I played around with Lightroom a lot figuring that out. And none of the photos really turned out well for to make a painting out of. So I readjusted, did another photo shoot and got two photos that I really, really like. And I edited them in Lightroom to get something really interesting. So this week I made this drawing as a practice from working from photo reference. And I really like how it turned out and there was a lot of things I'm figuring out from using photo reference again because I've been working from life for about seven years and it's interesting using photographs to paint from instead of life because photographs either give you too much information in some areas like seeing all the pores in the model's skin which I need to ignore because it's not the the focal point of the piece is not the pores in the skin. And then in other aspects of photograph gives you less information that you need, like an edge quality, where in photographs, the edges are usually treated, you, you see them fairly the same and usually too, too sharp. So I did that drawing study. I'm gonna do another drawing study of another portrait. 
because it's good lessons to to figure out how to be working from photographs and not definitely not copying the photo but using them just as a reference so I can still have that same fluid style that I like rather than if I copied the photo strictly it would definitely have more of a, a like a rigid too sharp feeling to it that I don't want. So these drawings is the first step and then I'm going to this coming week going to be painting from the photo reference and using that the drawing as reference as well. So the goal this week and I think it's going to be maybe mostly through my third trimester, is since I'm switching up a lot with my painting practice and it's really prepping for making my painting practice as easy and as flexible as possible for after I have my baby so I can keep working, it's figuring out how to do that and what's the best way to do that, like using photo references and making sure that I'm in a groove with that and feel as comfortable as possible with that so it'll be as easy as possible then for me to get back to work after the maternity leave.